This presentation was brought to you by Ingenico. Today we will discuss the IWL250 terminal, including what's included when you open up the box and how to install the device. Open up the box and empty the contents. Inside the box you'll find the following items. A paper roll, a power supply, a phone cable, a docking station, a lithium ion battery, and the terminal itself. You'll also find a user's guide. The docking station serves two purposes. One, to charge the device. Two, to handle any wired communication. It's equipped with an ethernet port, a port to plug in the power supply, a USB-B port, and a standard USB port as well. In addition, the terminal is equipped with a micro USB port to assist with downloading software to the terminal. It can be used to charge the unit when the docking station is not present. You will receive this cable if you order a unit without the docking station. For dial-up modem cable routing, open up the bottom of the terminal and find the port adjacent to the phone icon with the text labeled IN. Connect one end of the phone cable into that port and route the cable out of the base through the open slot. To finish, replace the bottom cover of the base. Installing the battery is simple. Remove the back cover of the terminal, place it to the side, and clip the lithium ion battery into place. When you're finished, replace the back cover. IWL units equipped with a long range GPRS module will include a SIM card slot. To install the SIM card, Remove the back panel from the terminal. Just below the battery, there is a small icon that says SIM, meaning SIM card. Slide the SIM card into the SIM slot with the open end positioned toward the bottom left side. When you're finished, replace the back cover. To install the paper, open up the clamshell printer and drop the paper roll inside. Close the lid and you're done. When you plug the docking station into a power supply, this will immediately give charge to the terminal. When the terminal has enough battery power, it will stay on continuously. To turn the terminal off, simply hold down the yellow clear key and the punctuation key that's located just above the green enter key. To turn the terminal back on, simply press the green enter key. This concludes our video. Thank you for choosing Ingenico.